Good morning, everybody. I thought it good to discuss um, a topic today regarding complex programs. We're getting to the stage where the programs becomes a little bit more complicated. And uh, very often, students really struggle with that. So I suggest that you follow the following steps. So um, we need to do some pre-planning now to really understand the problem. Then you do the actual planning and then only do you code the program. I'm going to show you what I mean with pre-planning. Let's take something like the room paint application program 25 that you need to code. Um, there's quite a few functions and procedures involved quite a few business rules given and the problem statement is now a little bit longer. So if we read it quickly it says an application must calculate and display the number of five litre tins of paint needed to paint an entire room. The application must also calculate and display the discount amount and final price of the paint. A room is assumed to have four walls and you do not need to allow for windows and doors. So we're going to, at this stage, paint over them. We're going to just not take those gaps into consideration. You also do not need to allow for painting the ceiling. Assume the room will have a rectangular shape and the user will need to supply the length, the width and the height of the walls. A few business rules are given. Okay, so now we need to start thinking about the problem. If this is the room, we need to paint one, two, three, four walls. We can also try to draw a nice <coughs> three-dimensional picture over here. Let's lie the walls flat. So that means I've got, let's call it two green walls, two yellow walls. So these, the two yellow walls, will have exactly the same dimensions and the green walls will have the same dimensions. So if I quickly think of what I need, just use maybe blue for the shape. I will use the width and the height for the green walls to calculate that and just to do that on another side the height and the width so let's just write that down over here it's the length of the wall that I will need and the height hey, to calculate the area and for the yellow walls it will again be the height and the width this time. And whatever area I calculate, I need to multiply by 2 because there's two walls with exactly the same dimensions. So make a mental picture for yourself first of the what you need to do. And now very often what I do Take a piece of paper and just scribble down what you need. So you can um, call this the pre-planning steps. Really doesn't need to be very, very detailed. It's really for you to get a really good idea of what you need to do. If you don't know what you need to do, you're going to write the wrong program and then everything will be a big big mess so <sighs> over there the user will need to get the length the width and the height I'm just going to change the 
font a little bit so that we can see a little bit more on the screen. So I will need to get the length, the width and the height of the walls. The paint and works per square meter. So now I will need to calculate the area. I can write it out. This is for yourself. So write out calculate to calculate however you want to write it. Um, let's go and divide this w between a long wall and a short wall area. So I will need to calculate the long wall area and then calculate the short wall area and then let's go and move that step calculate the total area hey I'll need to do that okay once I've got the total area and if you want to you can include the formulas here but as long as you've got the steps it's good as long as I've got the steps then I can go calculate the paint needed. So calculate so I'll need to go and calculate the liters of paint needed. Let's put that on a new line. Now they say you can only buy paint per five liter tins. So I'm just going to say round up. We know this uh, function ceiling that I can use. <coughs> I will sort of need to round up the paint to the nearest 5 liter um, 5 liters and I'm gonna already say I want to use the ceiling function so that's the next step that I will need then they go tell me a 5 liter turn cost to 230 Rand. Um, so now I can calculate the cost of the paint that they need. And then they talk about a discount. So Calculate the discount amount and then I will need to calculate the final price. Okay, something like this. Write down the steps that you that you see in the program. Let's just put everything on one line. Okay, I can sort of see everything. And then I think I've gone, I've done everything that they need. Let's just go read through the program again. An application must calculate and display the number of five liter tins of paint needed to paint an entire room. Application must calculate and display the amount and final price of the paint. Uh, I've got the discount amount and the final price. A room is assumed to have four walls. You don't need to allow for the windows and the doors. We don't. 
You also don't need to allow for painting the ceiling. You don't. Assume the, the room will have a rectangular shape. The user will need to supply the length, width and height of the walls. A room requires 2.75 litres of paint per square metre. I calculate the litres of paint from the total area. If you want to add that there, you can only buy paint per 5 litre tins, round up to the nearest 5 litres. One tin costs 230 rand, calculate the cost of the paint for all the tins, whatever you want to write and now discount, calculate the discount amount, calculate the final price ok, and now you're good we can go have a look at the functions and the procedures we know what the program must do in total so here they say I need a function, calculate area that gets two parameter values and calculate and return the area of the parameter values. Remember now, functions are used for two purposes. To break up a bigger problem, well, more than one. To break up a bigger problem into smaller steps, functions are used when I need to repeatedly calculate the same thing. Um, and functions are used when multiple programmers must work on a project and everybody gets a section okay so I need to calculate the area of the long wall and the area of the short wall almost probably in the button event procedure call this calculate area function twice once for the long wall once for the short wall just looking at the functions and thinking aloud what I need to do then we need a function calculate the paint needed gets the total area and that I've got to be painted and calculate and return the number of 5 litre tins of paint that's needed ok so from the total area I can calculate the number of 5 litre tins that's also good Procedure calculate price gets the number of liters paint needed. Um, I need to adjust this question. It's got to be number of tins. Hey, paint needed and calculate and return the discount amount and the final price. Okay, everything sort of works out. So now, next step. I've done the pre-planning next step would be the planning so now you take your table and you fill in the data of each of the functions what data must it receive what data must it return what's the steps again calculate paint needed function what's the data that it receives what's the data it returns what's the steps and then procedure calculate price what's the data that it receives what's the data that it returns what's the steps when you do the planning you need to include the formulas and then you go for the button calculate event procedure and declare the variables get all those input values so next you will then need to call the calculate area function to calculate the long wall area and again you will need to call the calculate area function to calculate the short wall area you'll need to add the two together to get the total area then you'll need to call the calculate paint needed function supply the total area get the number of 5 litre turns back and then call the procedure calculate price to give you all the amounts back okay hope this set you up in the right path 
this takes a little bit of work and it takes a little bit of getting used to but with practice you're gonna get better and you'd be able to do this with ease okay thank you